Hey, good morning, Lisa Marie. Good morning, everybody. Well, for those who are deaf or hard of hearing, you can imagine how difficult it must be in the workplace when you don't have the proper tools to communicate with customers. Many people have relied on reading lips and then COVID hit and people were wearing masks, which makes reading lips absolutely impossible. Easter Seals is helping people who are hard of hearing learn to advocate for themselves. Joining us now from Easter Seals is Michelle Oglesbury and Lauren Wishar. I hope I'm pronouncing those correctly along with their interpreter, Rachel McGarry. Hi, good morning, guys. Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for having us. Michelle, can you tell us how you became connected with Easter Seals? Sure. In 2018, my sister-in-law and I were both on the hunt for a new job. My sister-in-law mentioned that there was something called DVRS, the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Services, that helps people with disabilities to look for employment in the state of New Jersey. And so I was very curious about that because I hadn't previously heard about this organization. I did grow up utilizing my voice and went to a mainstream school. I didn't use sign language at the time. And so I was very curious about what DVRS was and I wanted to get connected there with a counselor. The counselor there did tell me that I could go ahead and work with Easter Seals, New Jersey and that they might be able to help me find employment. And so I decided to go ahead and try and get an, an a an opportunity to work at Easter Seals. And I'm very excited to have been there ever since. Michelle, as someone who is helped by and now works for Easter Seals NJ, what would you tell people who are deaf and looking for employment? Can you hear me? Most importantly, I would tell people in the deaf and hard of hearing community not to accept less. I know a lot of deaf and hard of hearing people are just looking for any kind of employment and they're willing to work wherever it might be, if it's in a kitchen or whatever it might be, but they should always keep their dreams in mind and they should focus on trying to do whatever they can to earn an income, yes, but also making sure that they keep their dreams in mind and focus on their goals at all times. My dream job was to work in administration, and here I am at my perfect dream job now, working in administration at Easter Seals, New Jersey. So I would tell them not to give up on their dreams. That is amazing. Lauren, what led you to become an employee of Easter Seals and help others who are deaf and hard of hearing? I'm so sorry. Can you say that again? I'm not able to see. Can you just say that one more time? Sure. What led you to become an employee of Easter Seals and help others who are deaf and hard of hearing? Actually, for myself, I was looking for a career change. And my supervisor at this time told me about the Easter Seals position and offered me a job as an employment specialist. So I decided to go ahead and apply for the position and I started there working as an employment specialist. I was the first deaf employment specialist and I worked with another deaf and hard of hearing individual helping them to look for jobs and find employment. And I felt very connected with them. I understood the experience and the struggles that they had as a deaf or hard of hearing person trying to obtain employment. And I helped them to know that they weren't alone in their experience and I worked with them to find employment. That's great. Um, Lauren, tell us how you are building the Easter Seals Career Pathways Connection Program so that it helps New Jersey residents who are deaf throughout the state. Yes, so our goal is always to continue advocacy and advocating for the rights of the deaf and hard of hearing community and our participants. We work together with the participants and businesses in the community. We help them to see that deaf and hard of hearing individuals are an asset to their organization, to the businesses there. And our services are tailored specifically to the needs of a specific business or to the client. We can work with and educate both parties on the perspectives of technology and accommodations that help a deaf or hard of hearing person to gain employment. And that way the person can be successful in any position that they are offered. 
Ladies, thank you so much. You're all beautiful. I'm so happy that not only are you advocating for the death of, and hard of hearing, but for females as well. I think that's wonderful. Uh, folks who are watching to learn more about the Easter Seals, you can reach out to them at EasterSealsNJ.com or call 732-257-6662. And we'll have all that information available for you on NJOnAir.com. Ladies, once again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Have a great weekend. What a beautiful segment that was. Yeah, that was amazing. And, and you know, I think sometimes people forget what's available out there um, service-wise and technology-wise. You know, you, you might kind of run into maybe someone who's deaf or hard of hearing and go, I, I don't know sign language. I don't know how to do this, but there's opportunities out there and there's ways to learn. And certainly if you're an employer, you know, there's ways to, to bring them on board. Yeah. And, and for the ladies that we just had on, what inspirations they are in, you know, turning something that most people would, you know, view as maybe a negative into the biggest positive. And you could just see from their smiles how happy they are and, and that they're doing what they were meant to do. Absolutely. Absolutely.